Hey guys, it's Jan. I'm going to show you the cool dashboard we made in Grafana using something called Chia Exporter. So Chia Exporter is something we officially support from Chia. I know lots of people have dashboards from third-party services, but they may not want to install these third-party services on their systems uh, due to security concerns. Uh, even something like ChiaDog uh, that I used to run uh, and I really like and made uh, it's not you know really being maintained as, as well as it should be and it's really just community best effort uh, to support this. Uh, we do have an official Chi exporter plugin for Prometheus uh, and Grafana and uh, I'm going to show you guys how this works. So you'll head over to the Chia network github and it's just called Chia exporter uh, and the command to install is exactly the same way as you would install Chia through apt. So you just would, uh, we're going to do, do this on a little test system I have here. So get update, uh, install certificate, yay. And then we're going to add the key. It's going to say overwrite for mine because I already have one, so that's fine. Uh, and then we're going to set up the re repo. So after you've done that, you can install G exporter like this and Remember, this obviously isn't going to work if you don't have the Chia Farm running. So make sure uh, make sure your Chia Farm is up and running and everything is happy because, again, of course, this won't work if, if your Chia Farm is not running <laughs> correctly. All right. So once you get this updated, we actually you you could just do um, Chia Exporter serve. Uh, and that's all you really need to do to start. Uh, but we're going to do something a little uh, trickier, not super tricky, but we're going to set it up as a service so that it just starts automatically. And so we're going to uh, edit slash etc system d system chexporter.service. We're just going to create a nice little happy new service and I'll send you these commands here in, in the video link so, so you guys can do this real easily. Uh, but this is just going to call this um, chexporter serve and it's just going to, you know, you could do some more tricky stuff in here if you wanted to set it up for different variables like testnet and mainnet and all that stuff. But uh, I'm just going to make a very easy little service here. And then I'm going to enable it. So we're going to run a series of commands. We're going to reload the daemon. We're going to enable the service. We'll start it, and then we'll check the status of it. And voila, active, running. So we can, again, do this again and just make sure that it's running the status. So OK, now that we have that running, we need to get our Grafana up and running. So uh, I have this. Uh, I'm just running everything in Docker. So you can see Docker PS, nothing's running yet. Um, if you just go to uh, in, you know, install Docker Ubuntu, uh, this is how I actually install Docker. Uh, you can install it through apt through Docker IO. That's fine too. But uh, you know, you just go through this, and this is this is kind of how I install it. It just works a little better that way, in my opinion. Um, and so, if you look at our compose.yaml, this the really nice thing about running Docker this way is I can run Node Exporter Prometheus and Grafana all in, in one uh, little dashboard. And it just takes, I can run it in one uh, compose.yaml and all I have to do is say docker compose up and it will start all these. Now, if you wanted to do that in the background, which I usually do, so I can say docker compose down, that will stop everything. Uh, I can say docker compose up dash D and it'll run that stuff in the background. And when you run this, it's gonna actually run the prometheus.yaml from here and if you look, the Prometheus.yaml is your configuration file for Prometheus. So we have Prometheus, we have Node Exporter, and then we have Chia Exporter here. And so you just need to use the target as your IP address for uh, the system. So my IP address here is uh, 101. And then you'd say application Chia blockchain and network mainnet. So again, I'll, I'll post these so you don't have to, uh, I'll, I'll post these so you don't have to remember anything, but See, in my Prometheus config, I just have Prometheus, Node Exporter, and Chi Exporter. So now I can do uh, Docker logs Prometheus. Make sure that's running. Docker logs Node. That's running. And uh, we are going to go. So now that if it's running, we're going to go to uh, the IP address and then with uh, at port 3000. And that's going to be our Grafana. If you are using Grafana for the first time, you're going to have to put in admin, admin, and it's going to ask you if you want a new password. I'm going to skip for now. First thing you're going to do is add your data source here. So data source, Prometheus, HTTP, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168, 192.168,
0.101 and that's 9090. Now we can't use localhost here because it's running in Docker. So uh, save and test, data source is working. So we're gonna import a dashboard to test it out. Um, I use a node exporter as my default dashboard so I can load that and select my data source Prometheus import. And now I have a nice fancy node exporter dashboard which you can do stuff like you know monitor uh, disk disk IO and farming IO and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, this is a really basic one. I didn't. Uh, you know you can pass the file systems through the Docker if you want to monitor um, you know file system sizes and plots and all that stuff. This is just a pretty basic dashboard for CPU and stuff. Uh, but here's the fun thing. So now we're going to import. Uh, I guess we'll save this dashboard. Uh, and we are going to use our fancy new uh, Chia dashboard that we just put up in Grafana. So the number for that is 17939. We're going to load it. We're going to select our data source. And voila, we have an amazing Chia dashboard up and running using the official uh, Chia exporter service. We're going to explore the dashboard. Uh, again, I just put this together pretty quickly um, you know you guys can certainly poke around and play at it obviously like Grafana you can you know plug in you know, we just started this a couple minutes ago so it's not going to show us a ton of data so normally you know I would look at my farm over the last 24 hours or 12 hours you know to get number of blocks and all kinds of stuff but you know we'll look at it at like five minutes just because we just started running this uh, and we'll make sure everything's kind of uh, what we expect and so you can see here on the top here, we have synced. Obviously, this is if your blockchain is synced, it'll show up here. Uh, full node peer count. Uh, this it looks like it's just running eight. Eight. Um, I don't have the ports open on the system. This is just running in a little container here um, on one of my home servers. So I just spun this up to test. Uh, you can see difficulty over here, blockchain height. Uh, and then these are the blockchain stuff over here in the left. You know, we have stuff like TPS, block fees, mempool. Uh, uh, block validation time. So if, if, for instance, your system was like really struggling, I, you know, I, I, you know, maybe this would look a lot higher on a Raspberry Pi or something with a lower end CPU. You know, if your system is really struggling to keep up with the blocks, um, you know, you just might see some high times here. I have the same thing down here, just uh, as a histogram, a little easier to read. Uh, you can see the net space here at 20.8 exabytes and that will automatically adjust as well as, you know, the blockchain height here to make sure that you are adding blocks and everything's working good. Um, so up here is um, uh, eligible plots for signage point. Uh, so, you know, you can see I'm not exactly at one because, you know, I only have 4.35 terabytes here. So I'm not getting one plot passing the filter uh, every single time. So, um, you know, you can mess mess with this. This total size all plots is just, uh, it's gonna give you uh, for each IP address. And again, if you have remote harvesters, you'll have to add those additionally in the Prometheus.yaml, but you don't have to actually um, you know, run another set of Prometheus and Grafana. You, all you have to do is run node exporter, uh, sorry, Chia exporter on another, uh, on your harvester and then point the IP back at, at the Prometheus.yaml. But you can have a, a bunch of different harvesters here and it will report the number of pool plots and OG plots per system. It'll report the total number of plots here. Uh, your harvester lookup time, um, this is running on an SSD and just in a container. So you can see my lookup times are extremely slow. Uh, you know, they're sitting here at 800 microseconds <laughs> for purpose based. A typical hard drive, you know, remember, you know, you, you really want this harvester lookup time under five seconds. If you do see um, in the histogram, you know, a couple things up outside of five seconds, you know, that's something to worry about, right? The, the harvester lookup time is kind of your latency of all the harvester lookups on the system. Uh, and then you have kind of just some summary stuff up here. Um, you know, you have your time to win, partials, uh, block wins 24 hours, block wins per week, estimated daily rewards, monthly rewards, total plot size, total plots. Um, now, if you uh, total proof, uh, total harvester proof found, this will um, this will count all the partials. Chia of farmers submitted partials. This will count the um, uh, this will count the partials uh, that you've submitted um, to the pool. The Chia Farmer Proofs found, you can see no data here, that this system hasn't found a block yet. But if you did find a block, you would find out when you would find it, found it in this Chia Farmer Proof found. Um, some wallet stuff down here, you know, basically just a wallet balance. And uh, I have actually have one XCH in this wallet, so that's kind of nice. Uh, you can see down here. So, uh, yeah, so this is a Rev1 of the dashboard. Um, I'm still working on it. Uh, you guys let me know what you want to see here. Um, I'm thinking about doing like XCH price and some other stuff that we have to. Uh, now figure out how to get into Chia Exporter before we uh, 
safely before we uh, let you uh, just pipe it in here through a random, random API. But uh, if there are other things that you guys want to see in the dashboard, again, I have this working on my personal farm now and it's very nice. I have four harvesters and a bunch of plots and uh, it's very easy to see everything. So uh, give it a shot, install it, and let me know how it goes. Thanks.